The clock consists of a quilt mounted over a cardboard frame embedded with LEDs. The lights are connected to a Raspberry Pi Zero and shine through the fabric to indicate the hour and bathe the wall in red to give a vague notion of minutes past. The quilt was made by following a simple circle of geese foundation paper piecing pattern I found on Etsy. With this method, fabric is sewn onto a paper template one piece at a time to create a precise final design. Once complete, the paper is removed, leaving the quilt top behind. There are many inspirational modern creations made this way. For example, this piece called The Heart of the Lion by Pride and Joy Quilting. Modern paper piecing designs like this are reminiscent of low poly graphic art made with Photoshop only with fabric and three dimensions. I was really pleased with how each of the four sections came together and part of me wanted to light the whole thing in a way which would reveal the hidden detail of the piecing and seam allowances. Quilt wadding is a good material for diffusing the light from the LEDs. I used a double layer to ensure individual pixels would not be seen as spots through the fabric. I then stitched six lines through the centre before going around each triangle in the hope that this would create a barrier between the edges. Once the quilt top was complete with binding on the edges, I set about making a frame. The quilt top measures 30 by 30 centimetres, so I cut a square piece of cardboard slightly smaller than this. I used pins to mark out the corners of the triangles and then joined the dots to show where the triangles would be. The RGB LEDs connect to a Raspberry Pi Zero and are controlled with a Python script. I used a 5 volt power supply to power both the Pi and the lights. In a bid to avoid soldering, I foolishly bought some connectors which snapped onto the LED strips on one side and the power and data wires on the other. I thought this would give the whole construction process a simple Lego-like feel. However, I could never get them connected sufficiently enough to prevent a very obvious voltage drop. So, it was back to the soldering drawing board, which did in the end pay off. Each hour of the clock is made of three LEDs, and at 12 o'clock the whole face lights up like there's been an accident at the Large Hydron Collider. To help diffuse the light more evenly, I wanted to leave a small gap between the cardboard where the LEDs were to be mounted, and the quilt top. The cardboard backing in itself began to look striking when lit. To show the minutes elapsed, 36 more LEDs form a circle on the back to bounce light off the wall. Initially, I intended to have groups of three lights for each five minute interval, but in the end I awkwardly used them all to create a progress bar of sorts. For the clock function, the Python script obtains the time from the internet and then changes the appropriate lights, and this is the program's default behaviour. Other programs treat the quilt like a lamp and set various ambient backlight colours. The final programs function as egg timers, with the front spinning like a real-life loading screen. This also doubles up for when I trail off mid sentence There is a timer for soft-boiled eggs, which runs for 4 minutes, and one for hard-boiled eggs, which runs for 10. While the timer is running, the green value descends from 255 to 0, and the red value does the reverse. A quick glance at the wall tells you roughly how far through cooking the eggs are. At halfway, the light is equal parts red and green, otherwise known as orange, and once complete, the wall glows red before the lights blink off. The Raspberry Pi is configured as an MQTT broker with Mosquito and as a client using the Paho MQTT Python library. It also uses the Apache web server to host a simple HTML page with embedded JavaScript that creates an open web socket to the broker on the Pi. A user's button press triggers a message to be published to the waiting Python script, and the end result feels as instantaneous as a wall-mounted light switch. I use Jeremy Cook's tutorial about Mosquito and Steve's internet guide about MQTT, Pahu and WebSockets to get me started with the code, and I look forward to building on this learning in future projects. 
One consideration is whether a Raspberry Pi Zero is in fact the best tool for the job. I used it because it was spare and I knew what I was doing with the Apache web server and obtaining the current time. Perhaps a Pico with a Wi-Fi module and a real-time clock would be the better approach. And perhaps it's time I took a dive into the world of Node-RED and all its applications. For future projects, I have a quilted binary clock in mind or a quilt which shows the outcome of binary arithmetic. If this is your sort of thing and you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and you may wish to check out my other projects. Thanks for watching.